Hey guys, what is happening? I've got some craves and I'm gonna go test them out at a course. Let's go. What's happening guys? Out here at Angry Beaver and I've got some nice straight flying discs that I'd like to see if I can lace the woods with here. So I've got the Gyropalooza Crave at 166 grams. I've also got the Rise of the Crave, Sarah Holcomb Crave at 170 grams. And then I've got the Fission Micro Bubble Technology Crave. This one is 172 grams. How do these fly compared to each other? Let's go find out. This hole right here is probably one of my favorite holes for a fairway driver that can turn over. This hole is 330, almost plays like it's 350 sometimes. But let's see if we can get some of these to go straight and maybe turn just a little bit. So let's go in order of weight. Gyropalooza, don't mind if I do. Has some nice turn to it and then just goes straight. Ends up a little to the left. All right, Sarah Holcomb, 170 gram. Just dead fricking straight. All right, I know the Craves are negative one, one, but these puppies just go straight. Fission micro bubble technology. I'm gonna put this a little bit on the Anheuser to get it to turn. Oh, there it is. All right, I see you Fission micro bubble technology. From what I understand, the Fission micro bubble technology, it's basically it's putting micro bubbles into the flight plate to make the flight plate lighter and then putting more weight on the outside of the rim which you guys know is that whole gyro technology thing. So you would think they're gonna be more understable because of that. They're not. Point for Gyropalooza, definitely got us the closest. Been putting with pixels lately, really digging this, especially for this distance. We're about 35, 40 feet away. Oh, what a good run. Let's try that one more time. Still getting used to these. Yes, that's it, that's it. Oh my goodness, 330. Downhill though, this should be good for this. So again, the numbers on the Crave are 6.5. You don't see six and a half speeds very much. Five, negative one, one, which is what I need on this hole. You don't want anything to go left or right. You just want it to be dead straight. Fission, Crave it is, here we go. That thing is stable, doesn't really turn much. Yeah, those of you guys who think Fission is super flippy, not go gyropalooza this one was money on the last hole there's the turn thank you finish that could be good all right sarah yes get through there oh. so far i'd say the weight is the biggest factor as far as which one's flippy and which one's not so far. Fission's the heaviest one, it's flying the straightest. Gyropalooza's the lightest one, it's giving me some turn. Sarah Holcomb one's kind of in the middle and it kind of flies in the middle of those two also. Um, I've not been this close in a while. Way to go Gyropalooza Crave. That was a perfect shot for a hole like this. All right, this is a long par four, goes straight and then turns 90 to the right. So you need to get something up there. If you're lucky, you can get something that'll turn a little bit to the right, but just ending up dead straight's not too bad too. This is perfect for a nice flippy disc if you can get it to flatten out and go out there. So Gyropalooza at 166 grams. We're gonna go with this one. This one seems to be the flippiest one. Yes, flatten out a little bit. Butter, that could be beautiful. All right, let's try that with the Sarah Holcomb. Maybe a little bit more Anheuser. Oh, that's just gonna go straight. All right, and there you see a little bit of the difference between those two. Sarah Holcomb one, put it on an Anheuser, maybe not quite as severe, just flattened out and went straight. Okay, this puppy's been pretty stable. I might try to do a forehand. Uh, okay. Okay, the Crave on a forehand, I gotta say, I love that. That was great. Seems like somebody else who has a signature disc Crave throws predominantly forehand also. Who is that? All right, a little bit of a sneaky spot. We gotta get something dead straight through there. All right, let's go with the Holcomb one first. 
Yes, give me some stability, please. Okay. All right, let's go gyropalooza. Yes, I threw that a little nose up. Circle's edge, fission. That's got stability. If you guys don't believe me, that thing's stable. Gyropalooza put me in a good spot again. You know, I was actually gonna come out here and kind of rag on black discs because they really are hard to film and sometimes hard to find, but I've actually had no problem today finding these R2s. They've been pretty good. Pixel birdie, do it. What a great catch. All right, 333 straight uphill. The normal fairway is to go to the left, get something to turn over, but look how narrow that is. The sucker gap is going to the right with something flippy. Try to get it to flip up and not hit the 25,000 trees you see over there. I'm feeling like a sucker today. Take a flippy disc, put it on a hyzer. Yes, good flip up. Don't hit anything. I think we got clean. Having a 40 foot putt on this hole is incredible. Oh, tapping par. Final hole we're gonna do here. We got some really dark clouds rolling in. So uh, let's see if we can get this one in before it rains. We got 308 feet, pretty much dead straight, a little bit to the left. All right, we're gonna still stay in the same order of stability. 166 Gyropalooza Crave. See that puppy turn? We got a little headwind here. So maybe the Sarah Holcomb one should be the better call on this one. Okay, maybe might actually be time for the Fission. Fission has been outshined by the other one so far. There we go, Mr. Fission. All right, guys, so if you need a little bit stabler version of your Crave, go with this Fission one. All right, to clarify that statement, again, it might all have to do with the weight, because really, the lighter Craves are being more flippy, the heavier ones are being more stable. So just stay tuned, we'll have to do some more Crave reviews in another day. Can we close out with a Pixel Birdie, about 35 feet? Don't mind if I do. Well, what can I say guys? I've heard a lot about the Crave, haven't really thrown it that much, but I'm starting to dig this. I mean, I got a almost tap-in birdie on that one hole with the Gyropalooza one. This one, I'm really digging. I'm digging that 166 gram Crave. You just get a nice little turn to it, nice stable finish to it. This Fission one, I tell you, it's a 172. It's pretty stable. I wouldn't say it's beefy, but it's not giving you that turn super easily. The only way I really got the turn was maybe going into a headwind. And then the Sarah Holcomb might be the happy medium between the two. I'm not a big fan of black discs, but I gotta say, I was able to find these very easily. I'm super interested in doing some more reviews of these Craves. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys like to see that too. And Pixels, man, they strike again. They're hitting some putts from outside circle really digging these if you guys want to see more about pixels i've got some reviews up here you can check those out well guys if you want some of these discs you guys know where to go you can even use my code links are in the description all right until i see you next time peace out <music>